Hey friends, today I am at Universal Studios Orlando to preview two of the houses they decided to open up for the year 2020. I'm so excited. Let's go do this. It is just so amazing to be able to see these signs. You know, we've been staring at the metal frame for so long and now it's actually filled in. Right now, it's just team members that are able to preview the event. Later on, about one o'clock is when all the pass holders get to go in. And this one is the Bride of Frankenstein Lives house. It looks like they're actually preparing for a packed house because they have all of the actual gates that they normally would have actually for a full open season of Halloween Horror Nights. And they should expect it because I feel like people will still travel to Universal just to come for these two houses. I mean, I literally would. I would come and visit Universal Studios just so I can do two houses. And you don't have to pay an extra day ticket. The houses aren't a separate ticketed event. So it's just open during park hours that you can walk through them. That's amazing. The second house is gonna be the Revenge of the Tooth Fairy house. I'm probably most excited for that one. Before we actually get to our houses, we have a little time. Let's celebrate with some festive Halloween drinks here at Cafe La Bamba. Here is the skeleton bar. I'm excited to check this place out. It looks really awesome, especially with all the pumpkins. And it makes me miss my favorite part of Halloween Horror Nights. Well, one of my favorite parts was the pumpkin forest. That was always my favorite. Another new thing they added this year is the scarecrow stock. You can actually stalk around Universal Studios and try to find 13 scarecrows and skeletons and they're all separately themed and when you find them, you have to get them stamped on the map just like this. Very fancy, what do you say? And we're about to go inside and I'm with Jackie. Woo! Super enthused. Yes. I got a drinking buddy, you know, gonna miss Halloween Horror Nights drinking. For some reason, it just was different. Like having a beer, walking around with your blinky cup, with like the lights and the scare zone. Different. Just something. Yep. Mm, about it. Look at the inside here. I love it already. <laughs> this is some good stuff. This is pretty cool. How are you doing? Good. Great. Oh my God. Food and beverage? Yes. yes. Oh yes, food and beverage, please. Oh wow, guys, I'm excited. <laughs> Thank you. You too. This is what we're looking at and we've got bloody charred tandoori skewers and then of course the screaming for s'more fries. I'm excited. I'm gonna get the chicken skewers and then also a fancy drink. Here's a look at almost all the food they have. Oh, those skewers look so good. And then down here we can see the little shrimps. The shrimps! Oh yeah, look at those bad boys right there. Yes ma'am. I like it. Very fancy. These look so delicious. Now that we have our food, we're actually waiting to walk through. This is a walkthrough experience. We're gonna be able to go to the bar, the skeleton bar, and then to the left is the actual walkthrough experience. I'm so excited. Look how cool it looks in there. Oh boy, I'm excited. This is great. Part two. Looks like we're about to approach the bar itself and look at this little shrine they have here. Oh, I'm so excited. This is really cool. It's really put together, well themed. Alright, now it's time for some drinks. The Circus Peanut, the Mango Inferno, the Lucaroo. The Lucaroo, I think, is the one where it's like you're turning into a werewolf. I definitely decided to go with the Circus Peanut. That just sounds so unique and cool. The Circus Peanut is screwball peanut butter whiskey with banana and orange juice. And take a look at this guy right here. This is awesome. <laughs> it would be really cool if you can actually just hang out in here, but it's just a walkthrough attraction. So we're gonna have to keep moving. But wow, this would be an amazing bar. I would love it, kind of like cocktails and screams. Cheers to you, my good friend. I'll enjoy these chicken skewers. Here's a look at the drink when we got outside. Look, at, it's got even a little candy peanut in it. I'm excited to try this. This seems like one of the most unique drinks. Peanut butter and banana. A peanut butter banana alcoholic drink. And here's the skewers too. They got a little messy as I was navigating through, but those look delicious as well. I'm so excited to try these. 
Oh my gosh, me too. I really couldn't take my time with those chicken skewers because I was so delicious, but now I'm gonna try the peanut butter banana Halloween Horror Night special drink. Oh, it's okay. Oh yeah, the banana you can taste really strong and the peanut butter is kind of like a kind of like a kick kind of. I don't know, it's a hard drink. You wouldn't be able to drink a lot of those, but it's definitely worth a try. You know who would love this drink? Elvis. Elvis loved pin, uh, peanut butter and banana. Did you know that? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Famous for that. So this is like the Elvis Horror Night drink. <laughs> Elvis may have liked the drink, but you know who doesn't like it? Jackie! <laughs> I don't like it! I'm gonna drink the rest of this and then we're going to get another drink. <laughs> Brave man finishing that. Oh, are you gonna eat the peanut? I eat the peanut. The peanut I like. Oh, I'm gonna get the peanut. So the line to get back in right now is only a couple people, but earlier when we were here, it was lined up pretty far back. So uh, know that when you come here, it's a very rushed thing yeah. because you don't want to hold people up. Right. And uh, it's like they only let a certain amount of people in, so you might have to wait. Round two, here we go. While we wait, I decided to just set the camera up so you can hear the creepiness in here. That creepiness. Hopefully this drink's gonna go down a little bit easier. This one is uh, the one uh, where you turn into a werewolf supposedly. This is the werewolf drink. The werewolf! That's my speech impediment shining through right there for you. Much better. Yeah much better than the circus peanut. The circus peanut's more of a novelty drink like I said and you get it just to try it. We're gonna take our drinks on the road because it's almost our window time, one o'clock, here we come. Oh, we're here guys, it's time. It's so amazing to see the queue so empty like this. We've been in here many and many times before. Rich Flix is excited. Looks like we're officially moving a little bit. There's only about 25 people in front of us and nobody is lined up so far. And it's one o'clock on the dot. We were in here a little bit early. Lucky us. Yeah. <laughs> we're not sure when we're not going to be able to film anymore, but we're going to keep going until it's apparent that we have to stop filming. I know they will not let us film in the house, but we'll see how far we get. Once we get out of the house, I'll let you know everything that I think of the house and everything. Like, just give you the whole scoop. I'm very excited. No spoilers, though. Two. Hello. Whoever's going to be the bravest of the group will be standing in front holding that in front of you, all right? So these little glow sticks they give you, uh, they're given out to the bravest of the party. Me and Jackie decided to separate because we wanted to be our own parties and brave it ourselves. I'm excited to see what that does. Oh my gosh. What color did you get? You got pink? Nice! <laughs> Jackie, it's almost happening. We're like two minutes away. Shake it. Shake it like a salt shaker. <laughs> So amazing because like I said we split up we're gonna be actually going through this quite by ourselves because of the social distancing um, it's gonna be even scarier when you're doing it by yourself Wow there's the door oh boy I am so excited it's happening it also looks like they have TMs out there sanitizing your hands I'm sure as soon as we hit that doorway cameras off but I'm gonna get up to that point and let you see like the sanitizing process. Good? Yes? Thank you. You do have to put the camera on. Ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely. Thank you. That was actually really entertaining. We got tangled up for a while, like it was a slow start, and uh, you can always see a person in front of you. But then at the last like couple of like scenes, there was nobody, and then I realized I was walking real fast, and the jump scares were actually happening with the plexiglass in place. Like they were jumping out and like pressing up against the plexiglass, and it was catching you off guard. I really, really liked it. I'm excited to see what Tooth Fairy is like. I'm gonna sit down and we're gonna talk all about it once we get both houses done. Now it's time we're gonna get in line for Revenge of the Tooth Fairy. Uh, we didn't wait at all for Bride of Frankenstein. We actually just literally got in line and walked right through, but we grabbed ourselves a beer because I think we're gonna have a wait here. Yeah, there's not much wait at all actually. They said maybe 20 minutes, so uh, 
I guess we're gonna have to finish this drink pretty quick. Looks like we're going into stage 24, or maybe not. I'm not sure which one, I can't see where it's going. For some reason, this big gigantic sense of joy just came over me because I realized oh God, I went through my first haunted house of the year just now. Oh my God. Uh, and you, to think that I wasn't gonna be able to do that. Oh my God. That's crazy, right? I don't know, it just hit me. Maybe it's standing you know, in line. Like chatting with other people in line. Yeah. That is like so Horror Nights. Crazy. Yeah, for some reason, like I said, this is really feeling like we're at Halloween Horror Nights. Yeah, it is. I'm really liking it. We should have gotten more beer before we did the yeah, Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, stage 24, that's the one. I didn't know if we were gonna turn here and then go into 25 or not, but it's 24. And it also seems like there's no glow sticks needed for this one, but they are doing the sanitizing. I have to wait. Sanitize. Thank you. Ba -ba -boom. Ba -ba -boom. So, I don't want to spoil anything, but Tooth Fairy was definitely my favorite. I mean, it's hard to say a favorite house out of two, but Tooth Fairy was the best. I loved it. I mean, nothing to knock Frankenstein's wife, but I loved that house. I loved Tooth Fairy. It was amazing. Looks like we got in line at the right time because now the line's all the way back out to here. Actually, it's going back to Jimmy Fallon. Holy moly. I think we might as well head into Finnegan's and give you our thoughts of the houses so far. What a better place though, huh? Oh yes! We got such a good spot! Oh, and this is where we're staying right here. Hello, hello, hello. I like it. I like it. It's very cool and relaxed. While we're sitting here and since the live music should have cut off for a second, yeah. might as well tell you some of the best things about the houses. Obviously, I've already said it, the Tooth Fairy house was my favorite. Yeah. Hands down favorite. Jackie, what do you think? So Tooth Fairy was great, but I still think Bride of Frankenstein was great. It's probably because I watched Bride of Frankenstein last night. I have an affinity for classic Universal monsters. I love the films. I love those like old 1930s black and white films. Um, I think that it depends on your walkthrough because we talk to other people. Yeah. And it depends on the timing of your walkthrough. I like that we got to stand in front of each scene and see it play out. One thing I can say though is I thought that the plexiglass was going to be like a warning that yeah. I would know a scare was going to come yeah. out, but they used the plexiglass as a decoy yeah. to actually catch you off guard. Yeah. I seen like mannequins behind the plexiglass that weren't moving, so like don't think just because you see the plexiglass you're going to see something. You can still get that shock scare. Yeah. It did happen to me. One thing I wanted to talk about was the social distancing and in the Frankenstein's Bride house they actually were held up a lot more in the beginning of the house and then at the end it opened up more but you had time to actually sink in and enjoy what was happening in front of you. You weren't rushed or anything like that. They had the CMs with like a little red lightsaber and they were basically like telling people to stop here, enjoy where you're at. Sometimes you would see the same thing over and over again, but it's only better that way because then you can point out the things that you would normally miss from just looking at it once. Yep, yep. Now you with get to like soak in yeah. the Now with Tooth Fairy, I feel like that was more of a uh, like very like advanced, like you just kind of like went scene, 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 scene. Yeah, yeah. It didn't we yeah. didn't double up on the scenes as much enough. No. Yeah. But overall, both of the houses were amazing. And I didn't feel rushed and I didn't feel like there was a bunch of people surrounding me. Oh my gosh, amazing. I wish honestly that all horror nights lines can go like that I would wait probably an hour outside of a house yep. just so I can walk through it more by myself or secluded yep I think it makes the house better it really does. and you get to like enjoy it without having to like rush along and everything like that and nobody likes people breathing up the back of their neck yeah and, and it sets up like it sets them up for the scare actors to actually do what they do better they get to like reset yeah. And then come back out and do their like little thing. Like yeah. it's true. Totally. Yeah. All 
all that Halloween Horror Night talk, now I'm hungry. I decided to get the bangers and mash. Look at that. That looks amazing, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, they got the bangers and mash. It looks really good, actually. Ooh, and then you have a pot pie. I have pot pie because I love pot pie. And look at the presentation. Like, what is this even? Wow, fancy Finnegan. <laughs> okay, we get it. We got your fancy. And Finnegan's was a great place to just chill out and relax after enjoying the houses, have a little food, have a little drink. I loved my bangers and mash. But now I think we're going to head out. We're going to come back tomorrow because I'm so excited to just keep doing this again and again and again. But wow, look at how this changed. Remember I said earlier, they better be prepared. This is just for the premier pass holders. This is insane. Easily two hour waits to get into the Bride of Frankenstein. Anywho's, that's gonna do it for me today. I had to swap out my mask. The other one just got too wet. And I always suggest bringing a backup mask because it actually comes very handy. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.